this polar vortex eve. Um, I am from the band Druid's Revenge! Woo! Oh, well, she's a performer. She travels a lot playing violin and singing back up with different bands. She writes little songs. She's not really an actor. I mean, she was on Broadway years ago. <laughs> In Cabaret. And that play War Horse? Oh, well, no, she wasn't the song person. She was the horse. <laughs> She's me, oh, darling mother. But don't let her fool ya.
awful distance long And I'd left so much behind me You could say that I was wrong But every kiss and every scar opens within my tree It's in my heart, it's all a part of me Cause I'm on the right track on the first
know what being invisible feels like. Crying out when no one can hear you, feeling like you're drowning and everyone is just laughing, turning away. But she seemed to have so much hurt bottled up like she was holding a mirror to my insides. Mom can never remember the name of the band. She calls it Lucifer's Playground, <laughs> <laughs> Satan's Army, or just the devil's music. But casting directors have my headshot in one pile, and it seems like nobody's looking for instrument-playing puppeteer whores right now. <laughs> <laughs> so when I heard the revenge play at the Canal Room at St. Patty's Day, for the first time, and I knew they were looking for a fiddle player, I thought, I could do this. The crowd reaction was visceral, immediate, with its pounding drums and ancient modes and a wall of sound. It was like a fusion of styles that I'd always been looking for, but had never known existed, like country, but with deeper roots. It was like I could suddenly feel my Celtic blood pounding from my veins. Run down the platform, take ticket in hand, hoping that they'll hold the door. It's dragging your fiddle and gear on the train like a hundred times before. Is that a guitar, sweetie? Play me a song, says a drunken football fan. But you've got an answer for guys like him. I am the girl in the bed. of sweat as you stand on the corner of East Bumfuck Parkway hoping that they won't forget it's relief as they pull up to squeeze you inside and drive past the crowds and the fans please pass the barricades under their wing cause you are the girl in the bay one limerick that my dad used to recite. He had 
an entire book of dirty limericks memorized. <laughs> Categorized by body part. This one was about the woman from Nisus, whose breasts were two different sizes. One was so small, it was nothing at all. The other so big, it won prizes. <laughs> Chet doesn't like that I'm lopsided. Yeah. I can't do one thing. I can't find my own voice. Now it's 3 a.m. on the last train back home. Tomorrow is gonna be rough. After six beers and two Jameson shots, you know you've had more than enough. You tell yourself that this is it. Now you're through. Tomorrow you'll take a stand. But next week you know that you'll come back for more Cause you are the girl in your bed It's no night, it's drunken and This isn't what you planned, but it's alright Just for tonight I nearly slid off the road in the storm today And yes, it was stupid of me, I should not have driven in this blizzard said, my story is a pretty difficult story. She said, who's telling this story now? Council guidance histories, history we're taught in schools, written out in books or schools, traffic signs, survival tools, just like a matryoshka elders pass down to their makes us who we are, our mother tongue. Some words become a thunderous roar. It's us or them, no room for more. Burning bridges, closing doors, ultimatums. Words of war and the female voice is silenced to one side. The scales have swung. How will we pass down our mother tongue? I remember way back seeing her perform the lead in that fancy international tour. And I thought, huh, that's my daughter. She's so passionate, so brave. So full of wild abandon. This one's for you, Mom. Write your own story. You have become a woman from that scared girl. Paint your own picture from your perspective. Then show it to 